all right hello everybody so i am done making my junk journal and i'm just gonna go quickly through it just so you can see how i made it but i really love the way that this one came out and i've been wanting i'm also going to be using it as like my journal like writing because i've been wanting to write again and i wanted to kind of do it in a vintagey um notebook or something like that like i love the way that this came out i reused some newspaper um i used some paper from my paper pads um i used um paper from my books so i'm just gonna show you guys oh maybe i should just go over this a bit because i don't want it too white um but i love the way that this notebook came out i used this fabric that i got from walmart and if it looks familiar it's because you probably saw it in my like mini journals so look at the size difference of that <laughs> but i really enjoyed making this and i can't wait to start journaling in it so we're gonna just open it up and i used this is like from a book that i have it was, it's like a writing book but like i didn't use it and there were a lot of cool vintage images so i used a lot of things in there to use for like papers here and i also cut out a lot of images that i'm going to be using in journal spreads i may i put this inside this paper um, I was gonna use a different one, but it was just it got messed up. So, I, but I really like the way that this image came out of this building. It's super pretty. Um, this is like paper. My mom has this notepad paper that she scribbles on for work. She does like calculations on it sometimes. So I kept it because I thought that that would look super cool as like like when I tea dye the paper. So I really love the way that it came out. It would look pretty if maybe you put something over it. Maybe like this um collage paper that I used or that I made out of scraps of paper. So that would look really cool here like if I put this on the edge like this or maybe I can use my leftover scraps of paper and just put that there. That would look really pretty. So I use a lot of tea dye paper. This is also from my book. This is just a receipt from like the post office. And this was just from when I went to like at a university they were giving away trees and so they had this paper and so I kept it because I liked the way it looked. Um, I have this paper. So uh, yeah, I, I don't know if I'm gonna end up writing here. Maybe I'll use this as like a journal spread section. I was gonna use this section to write, but it's kind of like weird. The lines are, are vertical, so I won't do that. I'll probably use it to like make a journal spread. Here I have, this is from an envelope. So I'll probably put like an image there. I'm not sure. Here's more of the writing paper, but I'm really, I'm excited to use this. I can't wait to start journaling in here. I'll probably journal here, like, write. Um, there's other things. But also, I can put, like, journaling cards in here and write in the back of that. Because I like to make journaling cards. And you can just turn it over and write on the back of it. Um, I can write here. So there's plenty of space. I can also put something in here. Maybe a little, I don't know, a ticket or something. Or whatever fits in there. So here's the other half of the envelope. So I can put something in there. Something fun, little truck spot. What else? Oh, I love this page. This is probably one of my favorite. This is so pretty. I can write here as well. <laughs> and more of the writing paper and yeah, and another spot there to journal. But yeah, this is probably my favorite junk journal that I've created so far. I'm super happy with it. And then this was a, an easy way to kind of put a make a way to like bind the journal because I was like oh I, I kind of glued the paper on the inside and so I didn't have I couldn't take I wasn't going to take it off to kind of glue the ribbon on the inside but I was like okay I gotta just improvise you know we have to do that a lot of the time so and it worked out perfectly fine I'll probably go over this with my um distress ink but yeah um in my next video I'll probably end up journaling in here but yeah, I'm super excited. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.